Welcome to the Zaleski Sports Show. I'm your host, Rachel Zaleski, and today we're going to be talking about high school playoffs, the Milwaukee Brewers, and cool off with Stanley Cup playoffs. It's all yours, and it's all now. Joining us now is Jason Zaleski, our sports expert. Thanks for coming on our show today. Thanks for having me. Like always. Um, so there's been about a WIA, uh, let me say that again, WIAA game. There's been one just about every night this past week, and you've been to almost every one of them. So yeah. <laughs> go ahead and tell us how that's going. My frequent flyer miles are off the hook. Woo. Yeah. Uh, okay, so how's it going? Well, we'll just go through the brackets and talk about this. Um, Stratford, uh, we'll start in, in boys baseball if that's okay. Yes, that's uh, okay. Stratford Marathon play regional final tonight, mm -hmm. Wednesday night up in Marathon City. First pitch is at 5 p.m. So if you're watching this show, highlights will be coming of that game tonight. Uh, so that's in Division 3. In Division 4, uh, highlights also coming tonight. Pittsville and Assumption, number one seed Pittsville Panthers, uh, take on the Assumption Royals in Pittsville. First pitch is 4.30. So if, again, you're watching this now, highlights coming tonight. Also, uh, number one seed Athens in the top of that uh, section, taking on number two seed Northland Lutheran. So uh, winners of those two games play each other for a trip to state. Ooh, state finals. Yeah. So that's baseball. In softball, we'll start in Division I. Uh, Marshfield last week beat Wausau West. Uh, they took down the Warriors 15-5 to in a 10-run rule six-inning contest. And then last night, they met up with Chippewa Falls and met the end of their season. Uh, Chippewa took down the Tigers 7-2. to Good season, Tigers. A lot Good to be proud of. Uh, a lot of these Tigers going on to play uh, college softball, so we look forward to watching that. And then all the rest of them are coming back next year to have a go at it again. Uh, they beat Chippewa 4-3 to earlier in the season back in April uh, and took uh, Chippewa all the way to the seventh inning. It's tied 2-2 in the seventh, uh, and the Cardinals broke uh, a five-run seventh. And that was the end of that one. Chippewa Falls goes on to play number one seed, Stevens Point. So anybody familiar with uh, girls softball will not see that as a surprise. So winner of that game goes to state. In Division Three softball, uh, Stratford uh, beat Niels, I'm sorry, Nielsville Granton beat Stratford uh, last week on Wednesday. And then the uh, Warriors traveled to Prescott. Prescott then ended uh, the, the Nielsville Granton season 10-0 uh, in six innings. And Prescott uh, now has already advanced. Uh, they are uh, sectional finals champs. They await the winner of Amory Northwestern. Uh, that game takes place tomorrow on Thursday. And then wrapping things up, Rachel, softball Division IV, uh, perhaps at least for us, uh, the story of the spring sports season, the Spencer Rockets yeah. are one game away from state. Woo! So um, exciting. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're having a, a great time. They had a great regular season. Uh, tripped up a little bit at the end when they played uh, up to Division III level. Uh, they're having a good go of it here. Uh, they took down uh, Banger at home last week on Wednesday, 3-0. They uh, then went down to number one seed Cochrane Fountain City, beat the Pirates 3-2, and then just last night uh, beat the Luther Knights 5-4. So they play Pacelli, and that game is Thursday. Live stream, Rachel, available that game at ZaleskiSports.com. Winner goes to state. That's it. Live stream again, that's ZaleskiSports.com. That's right. All right, thanks for letting us know and filling us in and making a mess behind the sports desk here. We'll clean that up later. <laughs> okay, Jason, the Milwaukee Brewers have the best record in the National League. <laughs> Still in first place. Are you a believer yet? <laughs> no. What? <laughs> I know. When will uh, we turn you into becoming a believer? Uh, check with me about a week and a half after the All-Star break uh, mm -hmm. because that's when the Brewers will disappoint. Oh. Uh, as they have so many times over my lifetime uh, when they get themselves in this position. So you're right, though. They've got the best record in the National League. They've actually got the second best record in all of baseball. Brewers are 35-21. and 21. Only the Red Sox are better at 38-17. and 17. So the Brewers have things going on. In the month of May, they're 18-8 and eight, uh, here in the month of May. <laughs> now, by the time we're done recording, uh, that record could change. They finish up against the Cardinals, you were going to say. How can they be so great now and not be great later? It's just what they do. It's a brewer specialty. <laughs> the first half of the season is good, and the second half of the season is not good. We'll see. They can prove me wrong. They've got all the ingredients, though, to make a run. I, I will admit to that at this point. Um, one ingredient, though, that was not working well, uh, shortstop Orlando Arcia, a batting average of only 194. So they sent him down to the minors last week. 
Uh, Tyler uh, Salandino was his replacement. Now, Tyler uh, nearly uh, broke his ankle yesterday. Uh, he's now got a sprained ankle. He'll be on the disabled list. So Orlando gets to come back up to play big league ball and brings his 194 batting average with him. Uh, maybe, though, just maybe, Rachel, uh, that send down that he experienced last week is enough to spark him to be better. We'll find out. Uh, Salandino is probably out for about two weeks, so he'll be there waiting just in case Orlando doesn't play better when he gets back. Uh, coming up for the Brewers in June, uh, they will meet uh, many American League teams. Uh, they're at the White Sox, they're at the Indians, and they also play home to the Kansas City Royals. So some interleague baseball for the Brewers in the month of June, uh, and then All-Star break will happen after that, and then the Brewers crash after that. All right. Not a believer yet. Uh, I'm, st I'm staying tuned, though. I, I'm, I, there's something happening in Milwaukee that I've seen this show before. Mm -hmm. Don't worry, folks. We'll keep working on him. He doesn't believe that the Vikings will ever win the Super Bowl, but we're, nope. I'm going to keep working on that one, too. Yeah, that the work will never end. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Memorial Day was super hot, sticky, and nasty outside. We had a huge heat wave. Um, I took our family to the Wisconsin Dells this weekend. We had a lot of fun in the water, but um, there are other ways to stay cool. You can stay inside, and you can watch hockey. Yeah, I think so. I mean, I think just the... The sound of the ice, the sound of the blades cutting on the ice and the ice spray into the goalie's face, it just looks cold. It does look cold. So I cold. think that, that's a good way. If you've ever, ever attended a hockey game, well, you know it's cold. We do know it's and, cold. And Rachel's been to a, a <laughs> few of those uh, during her life all the way back to high school. Uh, so uh, NHL Stanley Cup playoffs are here. We are in the finals, and that's, uh, that's big news big in news. hockey land. Uh, the Las Vegas Golden Knights and the Washington Capitals mm -hmm. uh, are going at it for Lord Stanley's Cup. Uh, the Knights this year were 51-24 and 24 along their way to the finals. They beat the Kings, the Sharks, and the Jets. And the Capitals, 49-26. and 26. Uh, They won their division, and they beat the Blue Jackets, Penguins, and the Lightning. Uh, Capitals had, I mean, both teams had some pretty exciting series. Uh, I thought the Capitals were maybe a little bit more nail-biting. Uh, the Knights kind of, uh, I don't know, cut right through there. Yeah. Uh, you pick out your corny the way you want to say that a night uh, went uh, through and beat people. <laughs> anyway, uh, Las Vegas won game one, six to four. Game two is tonight at 7 p.m. NBC Sports. Uh, it figures, though, Rachel. I mean, if, if I'm looking at it, could go all seven games. We'll find out. A lot to be said tonight. Uh, Capitals need to rebound. Uh, if you go down 2-0, uh, it's, um, it's not a death sentence in hockey. There's been a lot of teams that came back from 2-0, uh, but it'd be a tough hole to climb out of if you're the Caps. So they're looking for a win tonight. You can find that again, 7 p.m. on NBC Sports. Great. Thank you for that. And then also, uh, is there anything that you want to mention about the NBA Finals? Eh, not really. <laughs> <laughs> there is a lot to be said, I'm sure. Maybe you could find one thing to say. Oh, uh, we, we do had, we had one update uh, on our Facebook page, the Lesky Sports Show. Uh, they can find that update on their own. Yeah, well, okay. let me know what you think about that, everyone. All right, so thank you everyone for watching the Zaleski Sports Show. I've been your host, Rachel Zaleski, and our um, sports expert, Jason. You can find us on uh, Facebook at Zaleski Sports Show or on Twitter at Zaleski Sports. I hope you all stay cool for the rest of this week. Have a wonderful rest of your weekend. Take care. Fastball. Go sports. I'm really working with nothing. Yep, Rick's gonna die. <laughs> it's about I don't time. wanna hear it. I don't wanna hear it! You know, you got gum in your mouth. There. Yeah, you gotta be a hater on the gum. Why well, don't I hate the gum? Nice. So says you. And today we're gonna be talking about the Milwaukee Brewers. Hi. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> right? That's yeah, fine. Um, is that playoffs? It's close enough. Is it? Is it even close to playoffs? I could redo it. You, you got 98% of it right. Yes. I got 99. Maybe 99.5% of it right. Well, maybe 96. I just got one word wrong. It's technically the end of the playoffs, so. It's fine. Yeah. Jeez. Okay, go on. Nothing better than playoff hockey. That's true.